What's up everyone, back on Fallout 4, and today, we are doing a very special video. Today, since you guys have absolutely killed it in the Legendary Pipe Rifle build video, I decided that maybe we should talk about whether or not if Fallout 4's pipe weapons can possibly work in real life. Now, I know everyone looks at pipe rifles and literally frowns upon them because they are literally the ugliest guns in Fallout 4. And it is no debate with that in general. Pipe weapons are not supposed to look pretty. They're just supposed to work. And most of you, when looking at pipe weapons, are like... Whack. Now, on to the video. Let's establish the fact that it's a lot easier for the pipe weapons to work off of pistol calibers compared to rifle calibers that some of the pipe weapons can be chambered in. So, switching the receivers to 38 and 45 in the whole entire game would actually make the pipe weapons work even better and have a higher chance of working in the first place because of the fact that it does not take very much for guns to withstand the pressures of pistol calibers. Now on to the very first gun on the list. As you're about to see, the pipe automatic rifle already immediately has an issue with the magwell being too low of the gun and working in the first place. Now this gun, since it has too low of a magwell compared to the, well, the Sten gun in World War II, it's actually going to have some issues. So the pipe automatic rifle is more than likely going to be eliminated on the list on it working in the first place because of the magwell is literally not aligned with the whole entire bolt of the gun. And the bolt of the pipe automatic rifle is very reminiscent off of the Sten gun of World War II, which you can pretty much just search up videos on how a Sten gun even works in the first place. It relies heavily on the direct blowback system, which it relies heavily on the weight of the bolt to literally rechamber around and work in the first place. Now the next weapon on the list, which is the pipe bolt action rifle. Now when using the gun normally, you will not notice any issues with the weapon at all when cycling the weapon in the first place. It does not take very much resources to even make a bolt action rifle in the first place. The only part that's really moving on the gun mostly is just the bolt, but you manually operate that weapon or the bolt in the first place. So there's no issues there. But here's one problem. The pipe bolt action rifle doesn't have magwell, so it's immediately disqualified. And last but not least, the pipe revolver. Can the pipe revolver work in real life? Let's find out. Now, when shooting the pipe revolver, the character uses it in single action only, which there are no issues there. It's easier to make a single action trigger system instead of a double action system. And also, the character does reload the pipe revolver with either a speed loader if it's in 38 receiver or a moon clip if it's in a 45 receiver. Now, last thing regarding this weapon, the timing. The cylinder timing, which is a big issue and can actually make a gun go catastrophic if it's a revolver, it looks like that the weapon is perfectly fine and the timing is not an issue at all, and the character's machining on this gun is perfectly fine. So, it literally looks like that the pipe revolver has actually won on this list and can work in real life. And now onto some very minor details, but they are kind of bothering me. Starting off with the pipe rifle. When putting a drum mag on a pipe rifle and holy mother of feed angle on that drum mag, good luck using that. That would not even work worth a rat's ass. And then a 308 pipe revolver? Good luck using that. You would literally break your wrist even trying to use it in the first place and blow the gun up and kill yourself. And then chambering the pipe bolt action rifle in 308 or 50 caliber? What? Oh gosh, I'm already having an aneurysm. I don't even want to look at this. But anyways, that's pretty much it, everyone. I will talk to you guys later. But before you go, I would recommend you to try the legendary variants out for the pipe weapons. But I would recommend you guys to mostly use the legendary wounding or explosive pipe automatic rifle because they work the best in Fallout 4. But do not, I repeat, do not use any legendary variants for the pipe bull action rifle or the pipe revolver because they suck balls, period. 
But anyways, I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to watch the Legendary Pipe Automatic Rifle build. And I will talk to you guys later. Like and subscribe. Peace.